What up, everybody? This is Dario Hunt from Living Life Fearless, and I'm here with my reaction for AIM by M.I.A. I've always really liked M.I.A. She always had this weird mix of pop, electro, and hip-hop that was just different from anything else that was out there. And she always had this sense of trying to push the boundaries and always kind of reinvent herself with each and every new uh, album. All her albums had kind of their own feel to them, and it was just something that was just very refreshing to hear. I just always felt like she's had a ton of potential that she's never fully realized and executed well on an entire album yet. It's pretty much impossible to try to categorize the sound of AIM. Like much of her work, she experiments relentlessly with a wide range of styles. Uh, one, one song might have like a schizophrenic electro production. Another song borrows influences from island slash Caribbean dance music. And then uh, another song be a more traditional pop song. Or another song will sound like from the Middle East with like hip hop influences. It's just all over the place. This isn't necessarily anything new for her. Uh, she's always borrowed from a, a large range of influences and always was willing to experiment. But this time around, I think her production sounded more disconnected from each other than ever before. And at times it can make it a very hard listen as you're constantly being pulled from one experience to another. Aside from a few songs like Borders and maybe Ali, Are You Okay? Um, which can stand up to almost anything in her catalog, I think AIM has probably her worst production to date. The unique thing about M.I.A. Uh, is that with her lyrics, she's always tried to tackle like these tough political and social issues like immigration, politics, nationalism, identity, and privilege. Issues and topics that very few artists would dare to tackle, let alone pop artists. And the way she's tried to tackle these issues hasn't always been the most elegant. But on AIM, some of the wordplay and songwriting is just, you know, just outright terrible. There were more than a few instances where I just visibly cringed at some of the lyrics that she was saying. She's always been a provocative artist, but I think this time around, it's just lacked some of the bite that she had in her previous works. Have you guys heard AIM? What'd you think about it? Did you find her songwriting lacking as I did? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to head over to Living Life Fearless and leave your rating for the album.